You are now watching The Honest Con Foundations, The Outdoor Experience Worldwide. With your host, Joseph R. Wheeler III. Honest Khan was born in Atlanta, Georgia, 2009. In 2020, we created the Honest Khan Fishing Tournament to get people outdoors and involved in the wonderful art of angling. In addition, outdoor recreation at large is our focus through the outdoor experience worldwide. And this subsidiary of Honest Khan will expose millions to the love, joy, and creative energy that flows through all of us and is especially present in the work of many of the world's greatest artists. Join our travels locally and abroad to bring you the true core of artistic influence via nature, which we are all part of. This is the Outdoor Experience Worldwide. So they started moving this monster. <laughs> sure makes it easier to walk over this than what I was having to do. Oh yeah, big difference, big, big difference. I hear you, Lizzie. It's a warm day out here. It's uh. Probably 80 plus. Perfect type of weather for fishing in general. But y'all already know what I'm gonna say, right? Y'all say it for me. G A R. Gar. Or catfish. Really don't matter. They're the kings of the si kings and queens of the situation, and I'm here for them all. subscribe now. I know you hear it a million times, you see it a million times on YouTube, but believe me, the content we're going to be coming with is worth that subscription. We provide you edutainment. That's what Honest Con is all about. So let's get into it today. I'm doing this voiceover because I had some technical difficulties with this particular clip, but you know what? Universe Divine Intervention stepped in and said, improv, use the force, Joseph. I said, really? It said, yes. It said they don't want to hear the click of the reel in between words and possibly miss what you had to say. I said, that is something to consider. So, I'm going to do it like this with smooth music behind me, and we're going to get into the Snyder Cut. Yes, I'm going to do a review of the Snyder Cut, give you all my thoughts on that, Let's get into it. So, the Snyder Cut. First and foremost, this movie rocks. Yep. It's off the chain. It's amazing. It's everything you heard. It's all true. And yes, it's long as I don't know what, but it doesn't matter because I sat there. I put it on pause. I took my time with it. I think I spent about three days watching the whole thing. Each day got about an hour a piece or more because I think it's like close to four hours. It was worth every second. And it makes you appreciate the seconds. The first thing I noticed about the artistry of this film is I don't think any action film I've ever seen has used slow-mo with such incredible variation and intentional artistic view. I mean, every other scene had a smooth slow-mo. And if it was a character's introduction, you best get ready for an amazing 
music video level slow mo. Because you know, music, music videos are known for having those real cool slow mo modes. Well, this mastered slow mo mode. It was the, the epitome of badassery in slow mo. And each character got the dopest introductions. Let's let's run them out. And we're gonna get into, you know, I thought, mm, do we wanna get into, you know what, I wasn't I was gonna get into the history of the Snyder Cut and all that, but this this isn't meant to be a history class. If you don't know the history of the film and why it's called the Snyder Cut, please look it up. Salute to you know Zack Snyder and the entire crew that have, and especially the fans. We the fans. Especially those who are diehard DC fans. I'm not a diehard DC fan. I can't claim that. I'm a more I'm more of a Marvel head. I'm really excited about what's about to happen with Marvel with the next few films. But we're not talking about that right now. We're gonna give DC the floor. We're gonna give DC the glow right now. All right. This is since Aquaman. This is the best thing. Let me see. I take that. Okay. Let me. I gotta add them up. Since Aquaman and the first Wonder Woman. I haven't seen the new one. I heard the mixed reviews, so I'm not gonna say anything bad or good about it. I love the actress. She's gorgeous. I love everything she touches. I know I'm going to see it eventually, so that'll be that. That's just what that is. Um, but yeah, it, it, they did They did it. This, those three, Aquaman, the first Wonder Woman, and this movie set the bar high again for DC. When I say high again, it has been high before. You know, the Dark Knight series, the one with the Joker, ladies and gentlemen, of course, was absolutely incredible. One of the greatest of all time for Batman films. And we cannot forget the one that had Bane. Yes, that last one with Bane in the trilogy. Incredible. Those are my favorites right there. The Joker and Bane Batman films, off the chain. Insane. Okay, so back to Snyder Cut. Snyder Cut does for DC what it's been needing for the longest. It gave each character respect, and everybody got a proper introduction. Everybody had their time. Everybody had their moment. The only thing it left me needing is now that I've seen everybody's intro. And by the way, of all the badasses of intros, Wonder Woman's intro was just absolutely ridiculous. She definitely wins for the, to my, in my opinion, the baddest. And it's hard to be the baddest of intros for characters in this movie because everybody has such moments, right? Um, you know, she just had it. She, you know, it was, it was sexy. It was hard. She, she, you know, I won't give away anything. I won't tell any scenes. Because I respect the fact that even though the movie's been out for a while, somebody's still not seen it. Times are tough. Money is tough. Get around to it when you can. But definitely watch this movie. You're going to enjoy it. Her intro was incredible. Period. The slow-mo was like one of the best slow-mos. All of the, the ricochets, all of the defending, all of the... Just, she just... Man, that, that was crazy. And I will say this. Hers involved a heist film element, and I love heist films. To me, the greatest heist film ever made was Heat. If you don't know what Heat is, you know, there's, there's stuff that has tried to give homage to it and bite off of it, and no one has beat it yet. It just is what it is. It's the greatest heist film ever, in my opinion. It just, it was all around. But this scene with Wonder Woman just reminded me of that level of a great heist film. Excellently, excellent, excellent work, okay? Um, my man Aquaman. Jason Momoa does his thing always. You know, it's this is the, this, you know you couldn't watch this if if you got a special lady in your life and you don't want to see her freak out over other dudes because she's gonna lose her mind every time this dude's on the screen. I mean, he, he don't know how to keep his shirt on and he looks like he goes to sleep and lifts weights. I mean, it makes me want to just get down and do a hundred push-ups while I'm talking to y'all right now. And you know, and I, I can do a hundred, but just not a hundred straight. You know what I'm saying? I got to break mine up into sets of thirties, twenties, a few tens. And walk around, you know, I'll get there. But, you know, this dude, just like all he do is just eat and pump weights. It's insane. You, know? you got to admire the physique. The brother got it. He got it all the way down. Superman, black costume, that's all I got to say. Dopeness, period. That's all we got to say about that. Um, Flash. I actually dug Flash. I didn't. I thought Flash was going to be the weak, weak link because... I knew from when I saw the trailers and stuff, I said, okay, he's going to be a little young, goofy, kind of like Peter Parker and Spider-Man, you know, the, the seemingly weak guy, but he's super strong and powerful, you know, which I do love Spider-Man, by the way, but we're not talking Marvel. I'm not going to do it. All you DC fans, I'm going to stay on track here. I'm going to keep giving homage to what we're here to talk about. We're talking about DC, all right? By the way, isn't that water beautiful? I got a shout out to Chattahoochee when I was doing this because when I tell you that was the smoothest water I've ever seen. So as I was saying, um, 
yeah, it's just a beautiful day at the Chattahoochee. I really enjoyed myself out here. And you're gonna see why later on in this video. If you're looking for the catch, just you know, fast forward, do what y'all do. But make sure you watch. We need that. We need the watch hours, okay? So anyway, I gotta say that uh, Flash was entertaining. I mean, he was, he was, especially his his intro scene and and the cutie lady of interest that he was spotting and he, she spots him and they do their young love thing and that was you know it was adorable it was it was a great scene again the slow-mo was incredible breath breath breathtaking stuff you know what i'm saying just go see it you'll understand what i'm talking about now cyborg cyborg is the reason for the season y'all shout out to my man ray fisher Support as a fellow actor, as a thespian man, salute to you for finally seeing what you were, you know, frustrated about having been cut from the first film. We were all frustrated and now we can be we can join you in the importance of your character and what you put into that film. It was amazing. Your character was literally the man, I mean, of the whole team. He's so important to the whole equation. And it's really it's just really amazing to see it finally. And I really think Joe Morton as the father, I love Joe Morton as an actor ever since Brother from Another Planet. You know, if you don't know your history of cinema, go back, watch that film. It's an independent, incredible, low budget film that Joe Morton pretty much started his career with, to my understanding. And he, he just, you know, what he's become to film, what he has become to actors and the art of acting is just, you know, He's that dude, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to shout out other legends in this, Harry Lennox as Martian Manhunter is off the chain and totally unexpected when you see him the first time. Really enjoyed that. Always liked that character. Liking him more and more because of uh, recent ways he's been illustrated in you know DC Comics. I've actually picked up a few books over the past few years and seeing how they're starting to enrich that character. I think that deserves its own spinoff film. But let's get back to Cyborg when we start talking about spinoff films. It's time. And after the success of this film, can we just go ahead and say fans are demanding a cyborg film? It was promised to Ray. It was talked about. It was hinted at. I won't say promised. I don't know the details. I just know that it was hinted. It was announced that there was some talk around it. We want to see that film. We need cyborg now. Okay. And, you know, as an actor, always looking for work, I want to be a part of it some way, somehow. But I am going to use my platform as Honest Khan's president and as an actor to say we want to see this film. It would be amazing now that we can see the potential of what he is. And I understand the character even better now than I ever have, of, you know, even reading the comic. It was just so well dis defined and described what he is and what his father's character as Joe Morton, you know, saving his life and rebuilding him into a cyborg, but then, you know, him acting in angst, of course, naturally. A real character, you know, who would want to be half robotic? Who would want to be alive but not be a whole human being after such a horrendous accident, you know what I'm saying? And losing family in it, too. So, you know, he plays a lot of aspects as, as you know, as an actor in that. And I like that about the first, J I mean, he actually, he's the only part of the original JL film, Justice League joint, that I remember. And seeing it fully displayed in this one, I understood his anger more now. And I really appreciated the acting more. Um, so yeah, we, we need that film. We need that film. And I wanna, you know, if there's anything Honest Khan can do to push that forward, if Ray, if you ever see this or hear about our support of you, hey man, we down, Borg life. Let's, let's get that cyborg movie made. I wanna make that very clear. That's, that's the highlight of this whole review is to say you did an excellent job, man. Kudos to you. And even, you know, you being a whistleblower for disrespectful on-set activities and things you went through and, and you know, the, the whole, you know, I, I won't get all into that. I'll just say, hey, the best will always shine past the mess, right? And you're doing that. And it's only going to get better for you in your career, my brother. Salute to you and props to you. Really enjoyed that character. Keep going. Keep going strong with Cyborg. Booyah! Borg life. Now, let's talk villains for a minute here. Um, wow. Steppenwolf got the makeover of the year. I mean, this dude, <laughs> he went from aight looking to just what the hell is that? Like, you can tell they took cues from Transformers with the armor and just the whole reticulated armor that 
moves and vibrates and all this stuff and spikes out and retracts and the epitome of badass. Yeah, Steppenwolf was the, was the damn truth in this movie. I truly enjoyed that character. The CGI was insane. And Darkseed is off the dead gone. I mean, to know what Steppenwolf is, I'm, I'm just like, knowing this is going to continue and this will be a trilogy, Darkseid is going to rock the world in part two already. You already know it's going to be some Star Wars level Empire Strikes Back, Vader's Revenge type shit. I mean, whew, wow, wow, wow. It's going to be insane, y'all. It's going to be insane. And the CGI is just, again, they're... they're they're topping themselves with these movies these days. Um, you really feel immersed in these realms. Salute to all of that. Salute to the script. Uh, salute to the introductions of each character. Like I said, only real oddity to the whole thing at the end was the dream sequence. That's all I'll say. And, um, and But I still dug it because it's a dream sequence. So, I mean, hell, if it's a dream sequence, it's supposed to be surreal. It's supposed to be weird as hell. It was that. I enjoyed it. Let's get back to fishing. This was for the phone. Make mine the P phone. Make mine a pea funk. Talking about the pea. Yeah, there's a lot of stink on this here ride right now. This is gonna do it today, I already know. Cause they keep surfacing, the water is too smooth. I've seen guards surfacing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting a tight one. I got fish, fish on, fish on. Oh snap, yes. Fish on, that's a cat, that must be a cat, it's a cat. I'm saying it's a cat. Ooh, taking mine with it, yes. Ooh, I feel you. Yes, 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 wait a minute. That's cat, that's cat. Come on, big monster. Oh, come on, big monster. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Get my net, net, net. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man, you taking some serious line. I like your spirit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, man, what a channel you are. Channel live. Stay right there. Right there. I'm coming to you without sliding down this hill. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. Powerful too. Real powerful. Heck of a good fight there. She did that. Come on, scale. Oh, we got a contender for the what? Fishing tournament. Coming in at a very solid. What are we talking about? Come on, get it right. Look at mama coming in at six. Oh, six pounds of pure. Monster! <laughs> You're beautiful, baby. Don't let nobody tell you, yay. And I, I tell you what, you're worthy, yeah? Yep. Yep, you are worthy. I'm taking you with me. Hallelujah. <laughs>